Motion capture technology has been used in the movie and video game industries for years. It brings characters to life by mapping an actor's real-life movements onto computer-generated models. How do you like my new suit? That same technology is now being used to study and treat patients with mobility disorders like cerebral palsy and Parkinson's disease. It's the same type of infrared cameras that was used um, to gather data for the Polar Express. Exactly the same. Bill Granby suffered a stroke in 2009, which paralyzed the left side of his body. With rehabilitation, he has regained a significant amount of mobility. He is at Spalding to have his gait evaluated. Following a stroke, what you would expect is difficulties in the control of the portion of the body that's opposite to the hemisphere in the brain that was actually affected by the stroke. Uh, we position reflective markers on anatomical landmarks. And then we look at aberrant characteristics of movement uh, during a patient's gait. And on that basis, look at what type of technology would be best for him to recuperate his full mobility. It might be as simple as a tradition of ankle foot orthotics, or it might be something more complex, such as a full exoskeleton. And what we do in the laboratory is to assess on individual cases is if given the gait abnormalities that we observe and the activity of muscles that we observe that would actually work. Being able to advance what we're doing here technology-wise and combine that with advances in biology, that is what's going to allow us to get patients to regain their quality of life after a stroke or a traumatic brain injury.